Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on mathematical modeling of inclusion removal in 10 days. So, in the last lecture we discussed about the similarity considerations and especially while doing the modeling for the inclusion removal and even in the water modeling case you know what should be the density of the uh, inclusion that should be selected uh, based on you know the uh, other similarity criteria and also uh, you know other other things taken into account like the uh, density of the inclusions in the steel or size of the inclusion in the steel. So, based on that you can take those. Uh, so, from there you can have the idea that when you model uh, at that time how you have to select those uh, the sizes uh, properly, so that you can have a proper simulation. Now, we will uh, today discuss about uh, uh, the aspects which needs to be uh, taken into consideration when we do the mathematical modeling or numerical modeling of the inclusion removal processes in Tandis. So, as we know we already discussed that uh, uh, the inclusions uh, uh, are basically uh, going to be very harmful if they are uh, uh, coming inside uh, uh, I mean uh, out of the uh, tundis. So, we need to have the removal of the tundis, but uh, removal outside or it should uh, float uh, you know uh, that way and uh, 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 you know uh, apart from that there may be other conditions that may be uh, put in. Uh, so, that uh, inclusions are trapped or inclusions are stuck to the uh, walls or so. So, they are uh, the part of the boundary conditions. Now, uh, we will talk about uh, the uh, modeling you know uh, uh, issues uh, mathematical modeling uh, when we talk about. So, uh, that is normally handled using the Eilerian Lagrangian approach where you have uh, this is the uh, discrete phase particle. So, inclusions uh, uh, being the uh, particles. So, they are the uh, discrete uh, you know particles. So, basically you need also to know that where these inclusions are uh, going. So, we need to track them and that is known as the uh, you know tracking of their path. So, tracking of their trajectory. So, that is uh, the aim uh, basically when we do the mathematical modeling. So, as I told that this is uh, normally a Eilerian Lagrangian type of approach uh, you have the fluid in which uh, you are injecting the trans, uh, the uh, inclusion particles and these inclusion particles are uh, basically uh, having. Uh, so, initially they will be uh, given a certain kind of velocity with which they will be going inside and uh, once they go, go into the fluid domain. Uh, then further they are subjected to uh, the, uh, the conditions uh, which is prevalent in that uh, fluid domain. So, um, uh, when uh, you are uh, going for studying the uh, doing the flow analysis with uh, by, by taking the turbulent flow in consideration. So, you may have uh, uh, even uh, you know either you can have the mean velocity component into uh, consideration or you can have even the stochastic component also like you can have the fluctuating component also uh, you know that can uh, its effect can be seen. So, uh, basically what we do is uh, uh, that we will discuss that uh, how that stochastic uh, you know element uh, can be incorporated to see uh, the, uh, the trajectory path and all that. So, uh, so what we are uh, talking uh, that uh, uh, that is what uh, we do normally we have the Eilerian Lagrangian type of approach where the, uh, the inclusions will be interacting 
uh, with the fluid and fluid flow field uh, as we know we are uh, solving the Eulerian um, way and uh, this is done in the Lagrangian manner and uh, we have a uh, particular geometry we make and in that uh, uh, we are uh, injecting the uh, you know uh, inclusion particles and uh, then uh, you know uh, we do that uh, uh, force balance uh, so that is uh, uh, that equation is there that is uh, that needs to be solved so uh, basically as we have uh, seen that uh, the inclusions uh, uh, will be also experiencing the buoyancy uh, so they, they will be rising with the strokes rise velocity and in that case uh, uh, we are uh, uh, tracking them we are wherever they are going so we try to have their uh, motion and we see that uh, uh, how they are uh, being trapped or so so uh, keeping uh, you know so what we do is normally uh, we make uh, the geometry we uh, you know we uh, provide the boundary conditions and uh, you know you have uh, the normal governing equations like initially for the Eulerian uh, you know phase you have the uh, uh, governing equation like you have the continuity equation, you have the uh, Navier-Stokes equation and uh, you can have the uh, equations of for the uh, turbulent kinetic energy and the rate of dissipation of turbulent kinetic energy uh, that is k and epsilon if you are using the standard k epsilon model. So, in that case uh, you are solving that and then uh, you are uh, injecting the uh, inclusion also. And, uh, so, in this case uh, you are going to solve the extra equation that is uh, uh, you know that it will be uh, your uh, the force balance uh, you know particle force uh, uh, balance equation uh, in, in this case. So, uh, so uh, in the normal uh, way uh, we will be creating the geometry we will be having all these uh, conditions. And apart from that uh, you need to solve the extra equation and that equation will be your uh, particle you know uh, force balance and that will be uh, you know uh, based on the force which is acting on the uh, particle. So, if suppose you are taking for the x direction. So, in the x direction Cartesian coordinate we have these uh, equation that needs to be solved will be d u p by uh, d t. So, uh, that will be you know that is a standard equation which is even uh, used by uh, the uh, even commercial codes. So, f d will be f d into u minus u p and then you will have the uh, g x and then you have rho p minus rho and uh, divided by uh, rho p and then you have the uh, source term that is f x. So, basically uh, we solve uh, this equation and uh, in this case uh, uh, you know uh, this f d into u minus u p. So, this is uh, basically uh, the drag force uh, per unit mass. So, this is uh, that uh, quantity f d into u minus u p and uh, you know you have uh, uh, the uh, the f x. So, this so now this f d basically will be in terms of the Reynolds number and the c d is coefficient. So, normally this f d into u minus u p. So, this is known as the drag force per unit mass. And that is defined as 18 mu by rho p d p square and then you have c d r e divided by 24. Now, uh, this c d, uh, so in this case uh, rho is the density of the particle, d is the uh, diameter of the particle d p and uh, your uh, uh, r e is the uh, Reynolds number. So, you, you know that Reynolds number now based on that uh, you this uh, value will be taken and uh, if you uh, so 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 you can have the value of this reynolds number as uh, rho into dp into up minus u and and divided by mu so that will be your 
uh, Reynolds number in this case. Uh, and uh, though the C D, uh, this is uh, the uh, drag coefficient. So, its value also uh, you know, so it can be uh, taken you, you it will be basically a function of the uh, Reynolds number and so you may have uh, different values. So, people uh, can take uh, these uh, you know different uh, uh, values and uh, uh, that will be a function of uh, you know Reynolds number. So, some people uh, may take it like a 1 plus a 2 by r e plus a 3 by r e square. So, you will have these uh, you know a 1, a 2 and a 3 they are the constants that are uh, you know uh, for the smooth uh, spherical particles. And uh, you know there are uh, they are also uh, expressed in terms of uh, you know other one another parameter like uh, uh, that will be uh, phi. So, that uh, phi again will be uh, you know depending upon the uh, surface area of the spherical particle taken into account. So, uh, so you may have the you know different uh, uh, of these values. So, this uh, thing can be taken and that can be incorporated into your uh, model and uh, uh, you can have this uh, th that uh, you know being solved. You could also uh, have uh, uh, for the uh, sub micron particles, uh, you have the Stokes law that is uh, uh, drag law is uh, um, applicable and for the for those uh, uh, sub micron particles, you uh, have this F d as 18 mu upon uh, d p square rho p into uh, you know uh, C e. So, that uh, again uh, you have uh, different kind of expressions uh, you may have. So, that you can uh, take from the uh, respective literatures and you can use them uh, depending upon the uh, different type of uh, you know particles and uh, uh, further that can be uh, incorporated. So, uh, so once you uh, do that uh, then also uh, comes that uh, how to uh, take the stochastic you know uh, component into picture. So, uh, apart from that uh, you know before uh, going for that uh, you can uh, consider all uh, other kind of also forces lift forces or so uh, you know that uh, may be considered for uh, the force which is acting on the uh, particle. Uh, what is uh, uh, you know seen in the case of the inclusion uh, you know modeling in uh, most of the uh, codes is uh, the, the use of the um, stochastic element and uh, uh, that will be uh, you know that will be known as the stochastic uh, particle tracking especially in the case of uh, turbulent flow. So, as you know that in the uh, turbulent flow you have in the uh, in the flow component uh, you will have one is the uh, you know one is the fluctuating component. So, uh, so, that part uh, needs to be you know incorporated uh, on the uh, for the effect to be seen on the particle and uh, that will basically be taken from the uh, you know flow value. So, when you are having the flow field the Eilerian uh, flow field in that case you will have the values of the uh, turbulent kinetic energy and uh, from that uh, you know uh, value you can uh, have the uh, calculation of the fluctuating component part and uh, then uh, the its effect you know that so uh, that uh, that will be affecting the uh, particle trajectory uh, you know in that case. So, you can uh, see that if you uh, take that uh, random uh, you know uh, uh, component and if you do not take the random component there, there will be visible difference which is observed when uh, the uh, modeling is carried out. So, in the case of the uh, stochastic uh, particle tracking, so uh, you will have the uh, trajectory uh, tracking that is uh, required in the case of uh, the uh, turbulent flow, uh, especially. And as we know that uh, in the case of turbulent flow, your instantaneous value you know that will be uh, so value will be uh, the uh, mean average and then you have this is the uh, fluctuating part. So, uh, you know 
uh, for um, uh, you know um, for knowing the effect of this uh, uh, turbulence. So, you take uh, you try to have the uh, value of uh, uh, this being calculated from the uh, turbulent uh, kinetic energy part and then it is uh, uh, you know it is net effect is seen uh, when we uh, draw the trajectories. So, uh, what we do is uh, normally when we get the uh, value of uh, uh, u p. So, uh, then uh, what we do is uh, when we uh, we have seen the first equation that is uh, your uh, this equation. So, that is uh, integrated and uh, we find the value of the uh, velocity of the particle and uh, then uh, with the help of that we can uh, have the trajectory you know uh, estimation. So, that can be uh, we that we can have by having the uh, solution of uh, the equation that is d x by d t equal to u p. So, you can so once you integrate it, so you will get uh, the value of x. So, then you understand uh, you know the what is the you know, where is that x. So, th that is uh, how you uh, try to uh, have the um, tracking of the uh, path of the inclusions. So, uh, so what happens that uh, you may have uh, uh, you know the uh, you know uh, uh, approaches by which you uh, solve. So, you will have uh, uh, the uh, trajectory equation that can be even uh, simplified and uh, uh, you know uh, if you linearize these source terms and all that. So, what you see the trajectory equation which we have written earlier d u p by d t. So, basically it is a function of u minus u p and that is uh, it is written as 1 by uh, you know tau rho and this will be basically u minus u p. So, uh, you know this uh, uh, tau uh, we can p we can call it as. Now, this is uh, basically so that is for particle tau p and uh, this tau p is basically uh, uh, that is known as the particle relaxation time. So, it is nothing but uh, this uh, uh, unit of time and then you can uh, you know uh, solve it. So, it will be you, know, you can use uh, these uh, uh, differencing schemes and uh, discretization schemes and then you can have the uh, solution like uh, u p uh, at n plus 1 uh, you know time step minus u p n and that will be delta t. So, that will be d u p by d t. So, it will be you know, 1 by tau of uh, again you have u star minus u p n plus 1. So, that way it will be uh, going. So, uh, so that way uh, you know uh, this is uh, being solved and uh, your uh, u star will be nothing but the average of uh, u n and u n plus 1. So, so that way you know you have uh, and then you have again u n plus 1 will be uh, uh, for the uh, you know that will be uh, again expressed in terms of u n and uh, you know uh, and, and a grad of the uh, u n part. So, that way uh, you know this is the normal uh, way of solving the equations. So, you can uh, solve it and, and uh, your ultimate aim is to have the um, position. So, I mean you must know that uh, how this uh, um, x value is calculated once you know that uh, uh, u p. So, that is by integration of uh, uh, this equation. Now, uh, there are also uh, you know uh, considerations for the uh, size distribution. So, what should be that uh, uh, particle size? So, there has been uh, you know mention about uh, different type of distribution of the sizes and uh, one of the uh, you know distribution which is uh, being used by uh, uh, some of the codes are the rosin ramler type of distribution and other kind of distributions also are there. So, that can be taken which talks about the uh, you know percentage of uh, uh, fraction of the uh, particle mass which will be uh, of certain size if you take a certain size into this. So, that uh, particle distribution as you know uh, that also can be uh, taken into account. Now, um, as I was uh, telling you that when we uh, talk about uh, uh, these uh, stochastic uh, models. So, uh, normally uh, what we do is you find these uh, u prime or uh, you find this uh, v prime or w prime. So, that uh, 
So, they are u prime square bar and that is under root. So, that will be expressed in terms of the kinetic energy that will be under root 2 k by 3. So, from that k value which is there in the flow field you try to have this u prime or v prime or w prime that will be you know. So, that particle will be subjected to this and then uh, accordingly their movement will be uh, controlled. So, that for that you will be uh, again uh, solving those uh, uh, you know uh, velocity equations. Uh, you know you must know also the uh, different kind of uh, uh, boundary conditions. So, uh, what we uh, saw that uh, we have the uh, governing equations, you have also the uh, boundary conditions. So, you have different uh, type of boundary conditions also there are on the uh, discrete phases uh, which we use. So, you will have the boundary condition for trapping or uh, you may have the reflection boundary condition. Uh, so, uh, once the uh, you know uh, you may have the uh, depending upon the uh, you know elastic or inelastic collision they will be uh, reflected. So, that conditions may be given like uh, they may escape through the boundaries or uh, they may uh, trap at the wall. So, all these conditions may be incorporated as the uh, boundary conditions and then uh, we uh, try to uh, solve the equation and uh, we uh, get the results. So, uh, we uh, try to uh, see that uh, how these uh, uh, work are done, um, I mean we can see one uh, work which is uh, done by um, uh, the group uh, which worked with us. So, uh, we uh, and that is also a published work. So, uh, in that uh, how we make the geometry. So, in the geometry you have inlet, you have a symmetry plane. So, it is basically a 6 strand uh, you know turn this and we also have used these uh, uh, flow modifiers and this is the near middle and far outlet from the inlet. So, that is why we have named it uh, like that and uh, this is the uh, symmetry boundary condition and this is the inlet uh, through which the uh, inclusions are also uh, you know inserted or allowed. And uh, we have tried to have uh, the uh, you know use of these uh, dams. So, we have given the different uh, kind of uh, nomenclature or, or the case name. Uh, when we have put the uh, dam height like 300, 250 and 200. So, that will be uh, you know P s uh, 0 1, so 2 0 3 like that. So, uh, you have uh, um, uh, the different you know position 1, uh, 2 and 3. So, uh, that way your uh, uh, different uh, you know uh, height of dam at different positions have been used and you have different names for that. So, that is simply uh, uh, creating the geometry. So, what I was telling that when you uh, use these stochastic uh, uh, particle tracking, in that case uh, what has been seen was that uh, uh, when we did not use without the stochastic particle tracking uh, you know method that it was seen that the particle has come and it has hit the bottom wall and then uh, it went you know. Uh, uh, to the top surface where the condition is that it will go and it will get stuck. So, uh, that way uh, that condition uh, because of that it has uh, stuck there. Now, uh, if you uh, go to the um, other condition where we have uh, used the stochastic particle tracking, in that case what is seen is that the, met, uh, the, met, the particle has come and then it has uh, moved to the uh, different you know. Uh, places inside. So, it has a large you know uh, a movement inside and then it is uh, uh, getting trapped and that is what actually happens. Uh, in, in practical cases this is more uh, like uh, that is what is uh, uh, telling that uh, it will be coming and because of that uh, you know uh, the implementation of that uh, stochastic uh, algorithm. Uh, that uh, will be moving inside uh, for longer duration and then it will have the chances to uh, get floated. Uh, you know in this case uh, if it is uh, and on the bottom in that case it may have the chance to go through the outlet. So, that is normally uh, lesser in this case. 
So, uh, you know top surface is slag layer and we have kept. So, once we use these uh, you know uh, the uh, flow modifiers so how this uh, transact this with and without uh, you know how these uh, trajectories can I mean uh, the inclusion trajectory can be plotted. So, that is one example. So, you once you will do you will have uh, your own geometry and you can uh, use uh, these algorithm to have uh, the uh, trajectory of uh, the inclusion. Then these are uh, some of the uh, results. So, if you do with the uh, different sizes of uh, the uh, inclusion uh, particle, in that case uh, you are uh, you will be having uh, certain kind of graph uh, you know for the bare tendies and uh, you see that uh, Mm, you have the uh, fraction of clusters that is removed uh, that will normally be uh, you know very high uh, in the case of the uh, near outlets when you are not using uh, the flow modifiers in those cases and then uh, lesser than that will be the um, you know uh, the um, middle outlet and then uh, you will have the uh, uh, far outlet. So, uh, that is uh, the uh, inclusion removal you know uh, that will be uh, there from the uh, Tundis. Now, uh, there has been uh, different other uh, parametric studies like uh, you do with the uh, you know uh, the studies uh, for uh, the different sizes and what has been seen that if you increase the size removal will be higher. So, in, in those cases uh, you will have uh, the larger fraction of the inclusions uh, uh, getting removed. So, uh, so this uh, basically uh, tells uh, that uh, you know if you do that if you change the uh, you know operating parameters if you change those variables you are going to have the uh, different kind of uh, results and that even you need to be uh, you know uh, you need to interpret that uh, as uh, as per the you know uh, configurations of the tundis, as per the operating conditions of the tundis, and uh, you know and uh, in, in in normal case in normal water modeling you can have those results also you can see that how many have come through which of the um, you know outlets, and and based on that you can have also the uh, you know calculation of uh, uh, their residence times and, and where they are you know uh, getting stuck or where uh, they are getting you know uh, removed. So, uh, apart from that you can have uh, the uh, many parameters uh, being uh, studied may be you can uh, take the uh, different sizes that is so that is what has been taken you can have different densities even the uh, work has been done with uh, the different inclusion density. And, and, and their effect also can be seen you know uh, that what is the uh, removal rate when you take the different uh, density lower or higher value. So, so these are uh, normally this is how you know uh, you, you have to do the uh, modeling studies on the inclusions inside the uh, tundis. So, we will have a few case studies also study uh, in our uh, you know final lectures. Uh, uh, you know in the coming time. Thank you very much.